right there. Huh? Yep, wow. right by the boat. God, beautiful fish. Got him, got him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back yeah, out good. there. There you guys go, it's gonna be a ton of white glare, yeah. but uh, super nice fish after dark. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say, Shells. Maybe we can. What is going on, guys? We're back. And you know who else is back? Boom! The Shelbster! Shelbster is back. What's going on? Give them the who, what, when, where, why. <sighs> Open water fishing, finally. Who? Me, Tom, Surly, Stella. Where, you might ask? Fox River, Green Bay, Wisconsin. No, Dupree, I guess. Whatever. Dupree? Isn't that how you say it? Dupree. I think it's called the pier. Whatever. I believe. Whatever. Same thing. Anyways, super excited. Oh, I love open water fishing. Shelb's first time in a boat this year. Yep. So we got the who, we got the where, what. We're targeting spring walleyes right now, baby. <laughs> right? Yep. And Shelb's first, first fish in a boat. And uh, it's kind of mid-afternoon, late afternoon right now, and we're actually hoping to fish into the nighttime. So I don't know if it's gonna be two videos, one video, we'll kind of see how it goes, huh? But uh, the hope is that we kind of can pop jig some walleyes here this afternoon and evening, and then at dark switch over, maybe do some trolling and get some even bigger fish. So that's kind of the plan. We got the whole fam out today. Who, what, when, where, why? Why are we walleye fishing? Because, because I want it, I and, want it. And Shelbs wants it. So any closing remarks on the intro? No, I never do. All right, well, stay tuned. Yep. Let's catch some walleyes, spring walleyes. <laughs> All right, guys, so me and Shelbs are going to start out fishing the same presentation on. What do you think, Shelby? Top chicken plastic's your favorite, right? Yeah. Your absolute favorite. And we're going to start out just like this right here. Kalen's tickle shad right there. Look at that kind of, I don't know, I'd call it kind of goby-esque. That color is called yellow perch. I'll link it down below, but it's, I know it's last time I was down here, we started catching a pile of fish on that with a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye in there. It's kind of the perfect goby imitator, as you can see, spring walleye run, lots of bows, just the way it is. So stay tuned. We're going to pop jig some of these baits, hopefully catch some nice walleyes, and uh, let's get it going on. Nitro, that's going to be our big fish. Uh. You're not so sure? I just want to catch one jigging. You just want to catch one jigging. Is that a fish? Yep. Shelbs is on. Talk to me, Shelbs. Talk to me, talk to me. He must oh, I forgot we're filming now. He must have popped it on. Yeah, he popped it. He must have popped it. And this is Shelb's first day in a boat, isn't it? And it's so amazing. Are you excited? Yeah. This looks like a nice fish, huh? It seems like it. Should I try it for you? Oh, poor sure. Surly's in the net. Sorry, buddy, I need the net for a second. What do you got, Shelb? What do you got? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, oh, it's a nice one, Shelb. It's a nice fish. Yeah, look at him. Oh. <sighs> Your heart was racing. Your heart was racing? Yeah. Oh, that is a nice one. We'll keep the fish out of the dog bed. Yeah. This might be the biggest one of my, my biggest one of the day. He's fun, isn't he? Yeah. How good does it feel to be back oh, in a boat? Not on the So ice. good. I'm over ice fishing. Good and I have been for a long time. This is a beautiful fish. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right there, Shelbs. Oh, I got popped too. Our lines weren't touching each other? I don't know, maybe. There we go. Fish on. Couldn't let Shelbs get too far ahead of me. I had to make sure I caught one real quick. Because sometimes she'll sneak up on you. And she'll just end up catching all the fish. And then by the end of the video, you're like, man, I only caught one fish. Pretty nice one though. Yeah, I do have you, Shelbs. That's what you felt. Reel your line in. <laughs> I was wondering why it was like Oh my gosh, twitching. the same fish bit both of our baits. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and grab him real quick. We're both fishing with the same bait. Oh man, look at this guy. He's old one-eyed wheelie walleye here, here shelves. He's missing one. Aww. Hopefully he finds it later today somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice little walleye. Like I said, me and shelves are both pitching the same bait. And uh, we played around with a few different colors and things like that. There we go. He's nice. See you later, buddy. Right there. But we're both fishing this little guy. Let me show you off here. 2.8 inch and 3.8 inch Kalen's Tickle Shads. This color is called Yellow Perch. And if that isn't the gobiest looking thing you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. And obviously these Great Lakes fish, obviously in Lake Michigan, love eating stuff that looks like a goby. And if Shelves just kept her jig where she was fishing and I kept my jig where I was fishing, we wouldn't have this it entanglement right now. Are you sure it was my fault? That was 100% your fault. Is that going to come out or just cut the line quick? It's going to come out. I almost got it. Got him? Yep. There we go. The shelf's gonna tie it up, 2-2. Two, two. Is it possible? Oh, you know. Oh, it's way possible. I'm gonna beat you, boy. He must have thumped it pretty good, huh? Yeah. I've been lucky. They all have been thumping it. Well, they definitely like that bait. And as you guys know, that's been one of my best ones this spring, for sure. And Shelves has the 2.8 on right now. But that bait, whether it's been Mississippi River, last week fishing some small river walleyes. Oh, nice fish, Shelves. Nice, nice fish. one. Or here in Green Bay, that has been just a killer spring Stella, swim bait get, for us. And there's a good chunker that proves that point. And if you guys oh want, my God. I'll link it down below. You like that one, Charles? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's move your mic so that people can hear you. I thought they could. Give me the rundown. I don't, ha I don't have a rundown. Well, then show me the fish. I am trying. He's feisty. He's a beauty. Yeah, he is. Good work. We'll take him like that, huh? Yeah. Will you take a picture of me? Oh, Charles wants a picture. Yeah. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Where do you want me? It's right there. Sit? Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Get out of the way, Stella. Stella. Down. No. <laughs> Good. Good. Beauty. I'm Let him go. And let's do it some more times, huh? Yep. Pretty decent little <laughs> afternoon, eh? Can't complain about that, I would say, mm -hmm. yeah. So you really want me to talk to the camera? Yeah. Okay, so Tom wants me to give a rundown of how I'm fishing, because I'm out fishing him. So I'm pitching it out and doing a little pop jig, but nothing too aggressive. And then the closer I get to the boat, then I, oh, what do you call it? Like a, like a pull till it hits the bottom and then small little pull hits bottom and then most of the time I'm getting the fish right at the boat. And that is your tech tip of the week. Tech tip? Tech tip of the day. Tech tip of the day. Brought to you by Shelby. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna interrupt this YouTube video to bring you a quick, exciting announcement. We're introducing seminars, full length, high definition, seminars to the wall I know it very exciting and we just shot one actually and it just got put online and uh, it goes all into everything early spring river fishing for walleyes presentations um, a really deep dive on that deep dive on locations with using the hummingbird which we screen recorded a ton of that stuff right here and then an in-depth breakdown on the computer where we walk you guys through um, a lot of the side imaging and down imaging and sonar shots and that kind of stuff that we're looking at to find spring walleye. So really there's a 30, I think it's like 33 minutes long or something like that, full breakdown seminar um, on the Walleye Now app that is really gonna point you guys in the right direction, give you everything spring walleye fishing on these rivers related, current flow, time of day, all this kind of stuff. Um, it's a phenomenal presentation. To find that, get on the Walleye Now app and uh, click Let's Go Fishing at the bottom 
click early spring and rivers and it'll be this video right here and that's a nice long one so if you got some time this weekend or throughout the week if you're getting ready to do some spring walleye fishing get on there look at that video and it's going to have so much great information um, to really duplicate or replicate a lot of the stuff that we're doing on these systems right now to have success this time of year so check that out down below and that will bring you back to me and Sheldon. got him yep Mm, so, did he pop it? She is, oh, you know. She is, she is all over them, boys. She is all over them. I thought I was going to pull ahead, but now I might as well just sit down. And you might as well just quit. Ooh, nice walleye, nice walleye. Is it, though? It is. Oh, it looks small to me. It looks a little, oh my goodness. Here we go, here comes the... It's a little too small. Of a <laughs> Are you making fun of me because I said it's small? Yeah, of course I'm making fun of you. Well, show your small fish off. Then. It's tiny. But that's how you're going to be. All right, you guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, did you just catch one? Wow. Okay, that's ridiculous for, for one. I was messing with the camera. Is it working? Remember old One Eye Willie? Yeah. <laughs> we might have caught this one earlier today. Old, old One Eye, son. He didn't okay, find I'll, his I'll eye yet, did he? Back and then I'm gonna net your okay. Hand. You seen his eye laying around shelves? <laughs> You're the worst jokester. <laughs> I, I know. I know. What's weirder, the fact we caught old one eye, or this bait was just laying out there for like 30 seconds, and then I, I picked it up, and there was like this right? fish chowing on it on there. Well, you know, when your bait's just laying on the bottom of the lake and not moving at all. And yeah. you still catch fish? And they, just, the place to fish and they just eat it like that. Not only is it really easy fishing, but they definitely want that bait right there. And it's something about that color. You kind of notice as you rifle through colors. You know, you, you hook a few fish like, kind of like this on a few of your presentations. Then all of a sudden you get a color where they just choke it. And they are absolutely just choking that one. And we'll take it. That's about as good as it gets. Nice little double. If you can count that recapture of old one-eye willy on there. And it's only about an hour apart, but we'll take it. So are we tied again? Is old one eye Willie gonna bite again for the third time? He might when we're trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, Shelbs is gonna make the last cast. And then we're gonna start the troll. First time trolling this year, are you excited? And Shelbs is not, she just wants to cast. I'm not excited. But I'm excited, because generally it has the potential to at least anyways yield some large fish, so we'll see what happens. Drop some crankbaits back. Catch some more fish. Mm -hmm. You don't sound excited at all. <laughs> Still on. Wow, dude, we've literally got one board out we have a fish on. This is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> so we know what kind of night this is going to be, I think. You've been a f part of quite a few of these kind of deals, haven't you? Over the course of your springtime walleye fishing expeditions, literally put the first church board out and we got a fish on. One of my absolute favorite things about these church boards is they have like an ironclad grip on the line, which is obviously super nice. You're not losing boards and things like that. But when your hands are freezing cold, like they often are this time of year. They're super easy to unpop. With this big yellow clip in the front, and I'll go ahead and link link these boards down below, but you just take it, spin it sideways like that, out it comes, pop the back one off, and you're straight to the fish. Just get a couple. Just get a on couple? Camera. Yeah, on I camera. like that idea. Shelb says maybe just get a couple. I have no idea what's working for audio. This is kind of a quick thrown together video. Maybe we'll just do a nice little Segment on how to catch them trolling. Look at that. Number one. Nice pudgy one. He is literally the maximum size to do that with, isn't he? Yeah, I was a little worried right there. <laughs> oh man, that is ridiculous, dude. I mean, when you dial in a lot of times location and speed and all that kind of good stuff, you know, you could catch a lot of these fish at night in the springtime. And that's what it's about right there. Pull that bait out of my face. There we go, good, good, good. Your mic is not working anymore. I have the only mic left shelves due to cold. 
You guys do want to hear Shelby talk anyways, probably, but look at that. Beautiful walleye to start the night right there. We'll let that guy go and hopefully do it a bunch more times, but I think we will. I don't even think there's a maybe. Well, you guys, we've literally hardly been trolling, like, enough to even call it trolling. Obviously, you can see. No, we obviously don't even have, like, all the lines out yet. And they are biting crankbaits, aren't they? Keep them coming, keep them coming. Spoiled. You feel spoiled? <laughs> Green Bay will make a girl feel spoiled. It will, it will. Should I net him? It looks like he's probably a nice fish. Looks like he's probably a pretty nice one. Keep him coming. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. There we go. Are you are you gonna be the hooks in the net? Are you gonna be the hooks in the net, girl? Yeah. All right. And you're, you're yep, you're gonna be in charge of unhooking fish then. It's gonna be your job. You're gonna do it well. Yeah, let's hold them up to the camera first. They'll get a lot bigger than that. I know, but it's there we guys go. It's gonna be a ton of white glare, yeah. but uh, super nice fish after dark. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say, shells. Maybe we can include more. Maybe we can include less. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Let's... I'm gonna. I'm, uh, we catch more like this. Oh, we'll catch Let's more see. like that. <laughs> Let me take a picture. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Send them back home, shelves. About as good as it gets, right there. Side board. Those are my favorites. You don't have to clear anything. What do you think? How's he? How's he? He's not big, she says. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shells were doubled up. We're doubled up. Outside and an inside. And this is where it starts to get a little intense most time when you're doing this just like this. It's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. That same little reef runner. Oh, got him in. Here, you just take this, just drop that rod. Take this outside. And that little color's been hot. I'll go ahead and link it down below. You can see they're eating it pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta turn back away from them here. We're trying our best two-man show at night, but it's obviously just doing it with two people is difficult enough. And then you throw the filming part in it. And, uh, gets a little bit more challenging. How are you looking now? A little better? A little better. There we go. Another nice fish right there. Nothing wrong with those. We'll get him back. Back in the water he goes. Oh yeah, he's a nice chunker. He's a nice chunker. Boat control. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh man, what a fun way to fish, huh? Now, Shelp's likes watching jigs get popped, which is obviously a super fun way to fish, but there's almost nothing better in my opinion than watching all your boards kind of run in a straight line and then watching one just boop, 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 right back out of the spread when you got a nice, fat, chunky pre-spawn walleye on, am I right? Yeah, I didn't hear anything you said, but I'll say yeah. You're just agreeing to everything? Yeah. This is a good time though. It is, babe. On the old middle board, huh? Another one on that little stick bait reef runner. And what time did we leave northern Wisconsin this morning? We got up at what, 3.30? We left at 4. Got here around 8.30. About a five hour drive. Fish all day. Jig a bunch of fish. And then catch a bunch at night. They utilize our time here well. Yep. Stella's definitely the weakest link. She ran out of energy. Yeah. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh, oh shelp, shelp, shelp. We're doubled up. We're doubled up. You see this happen a lot where you get in a little area where there's a couple fish going. He ain't bad. I mean to grab him for you. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got the other line, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. You just worry on unhooking that. Yep. And I'm gonna reel this guy in. This is probably not the prettiest video you guys ever watched. But you know, we're trying our darndest out here, aren't we? One big tip when you're doing this. 
keep the Minn Kota on constant and autopilot. Good work, Shelbs. Nice fish. Uh, I might have a halfway decent one. I got your 30 entry, I think you were hoping for. Oh my goodness. <sighs> nah, he ain't that big, but he isn't gonna be a nice fish here. We'll just keep him coming. If you guys have not ever tried this before, we got some awesome stuff on the walleye now app kind of walking you through how to nitro, but it is such a simple and effective way to really come out and fish. It probably looks like it's complicated, but in reality, it's just the, the intensity of <laughs> hooking a lot of fish at the same time is what kind of makes it, is the only thing that makes it seem complicated probably. It's like a nice one, huh? Scoop them up, girl, scoop them up. And you really got a low center of gravity for that scoop, didn't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like you're really getting athletic on that scoop. I always get athletic on the scoop. Look at that butterball, dude. Look at how fat that thing is. What a fun day of fishing, huh? Yeah. You caught a bunch on jigs. We caught a bunch after dark trolling. Doesn't get any better. I caught the most, just so people know. And you did catch the most jigging. But I, could, I call everyone that we caught trolling as my fish catch because I was driving the boat. Fine, I still caught more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're probably going to end the video right there. Good yeah. call. Go back to the hotel, get a good night's sleep, and literally just wake up and drive home at 3 a.m. again. So, yep. quick little 24 hour trip. Hopefully, you guys kind of liked watching this video. Figured as long as we're down here, might as well film it. And uh, anything else to say to the folks? We appreciate everybody checking out Contour Fish and Clothing Co. Yep. All the orders. Shelb spends a ton of time delivering, I mean, packing all that stuff, mailing it out doing all the designs we got a lot of exciting stuff coming so check that out link down below and it means a lot that you guys want to support this channel but we appreciate it we appreciate you guys watch this video stay tuned for more content and we'll see you guys next, next time, time.